Well, everyone, I am in rural Utah, in a town that I've been meaning to visit for quite some time. I've driven through it a couple times, and I always tell myself, man, I got to visit here. Well, here I am, Helper, Utah. Wow, that's spectacular, isn't it? Sits at the foot of these mountains here. It's got a great downtown. I'm going to uh, stop and get out on foot uh, another block or two. I just wanted to uh, show you what it looks like to drive in the town. So much character here. Uh, a lot of historical buildings. Pretty much this entire downtown is on the National Register. I'm sure that's no surprise. Wow, absolutely beautiful. And what a backdrop. Look at that mountain. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to uh, get out on foot. So I'm going to stop right here. And then we'll talk about the town. All right, I'm out on foot. Let's take a look at this downtown. Now, uh, Helper was founded in the late 1800s as a railroad town. There was a major rail line that went from Grand Junction, Colorado, up into the Salt Lake Valley, where Salt Lake City is. And this was a designated division point for that rail line. Now, division point is just uh, a place where, well, there's many things at a division point for a railroad. There is a roundhouse, turntable, cooling tower. Usually there is a, a hotel, telegraph office, other amenities. Basically a break point for the rail line. Also, this is where they kept helper engines. Uh, of course, those are engines that would help the trains, when they hit the spot, get up through a mountain pass up into the Salt Lake Valley, where Salt Lake City is. And I drove through that mountain pass on the way here. It's pretty heavy duty. So these helper engines would push the train up through this pass to the other side of the mountains and then come back here, and this is where they are kept. This is where the name of the town came from, Helper, Utah. Now they've got some stuff going on in this town. There are several art galleries here. So yeah, it's more than just a, a town out in rural Utah. It's got an art community going on here. It's really interesting. Now in 2006, True West Magazine named Helper uh, the USA's top western town. And the magazine's just what it sounds like. It uh, showcases old wild west towns in the United States. There's a theater over here. Strand. Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It's just so cool here. Look at that backdrop though. Man. Big old mountain. Uh, Helper State Bank. 1914. Rexall Drugs. They've done a really nice job of renovating much of the downtown here. It's fantastic. See, so look over here. Old J.C. Penney is yet another art studio. Yeah, they turns out this is something of an art enclave. I would have never guessed that. And look here. The bottom of this building is renovated and looks real nice. But they've left the old sign up. Yeah, I like that. That's perfect. There's this theater, Strand Theater. Wow, how cool. I'm digging this town. There's a barbershop. 
I get people to ask me to find barbershops now and then. Well, there's one. It's closed right now. And, uh, well, there's the fire department. For those of you who like me to show you that. There's a bunch of people over there at City Hall. That is that building. Uh, that almost looks like scaffolding for a stage or something. Maybe they're going to have some shows this weekend. Well, let me see. Let me give you some numbers. In 1950, there were just under 2,900 people here. That was peak population. Today, there are a little over 2,100. Median age is 42. It's a little bit older town. Yeah, here's another art gallery. Uh, the uh, gender breakdown is 50-50. 92% of this town is white, 6% Hispanic, and last 2% mixed. Yeah, want a tattoo or a piercing? There's where you go. Median household income is $59,000. That's not too bad for uh, out in the middle of nowhere Utah, kind of. That's uh, a little over 1100 a week. Man, I just love that sign. That is so cool. Check out this fantastic orange crush mural on the side of the building. So awesome. A uh, couple other numbers. Poverty, 11%. Children 17 under, it's 12%. Folks 65 and older, 8%. Those are all lower than the US average. So those are pretty decent numbers. Another look at this. The hotel, rooms 50 cents and up. I guess that's what this was. The Lincoln Hotel. I wonder if that neon works. Uh, it's not a hotel anymore though. The Lincoln Hotel. But it uh, looks like it's a motorcycle shop. Wow got a bunch of motorcycles in there. I don't know if I can show you. Yeah, you can't really see. That's pretty awesome. And then they've got a, wow, a little area you can hang out. And uh, old gas station, filling station. That is so awesome. Wow. All right, so this is the Helper City Auditorium. Looks like library as well. But yeah, they have this big muffler man statue here. Uh, you guys remember me telling you about those in Pocatello. It started out as a muffler man and this company bought, bought whoever owned it out and started making them basically with the same, you know, the same shape, but you put a different head on it and maybe some you know him some holding something different in his hand like here he's holding a pickaxe looks like he's a miner yeah definitely a miner because look at his head there so yeah second video in a row I've got to show you guys a muffler man how cool well I guess I'll head back into downtown this way looks like there's some murals on the uh, other side, uh, the other direction. Let's go look at those. Okay. Wow, look at this. This is on the side of the uh, Lincoln Hotel. Oh, that is too cool. Yeah, the Lincoln Hotel right there. Old Coca-Cola mural that they have refurbished, it looks like. Well, as I head the other direction, a couple other things that stick out. 62% of the town is married. The U.S. 
averages 50. 96% of this town has graduated high school. The U.S. is 85%. A lot of impressive statistics that this city has. Here is the Price River. Runs through the middle of town. I'm on a bridge that looks like you could drive across at one time. It's very narrow. But, um, yeah, let me back up here. It's basically blocked off so that you can't. Let's just say Utah State Road 1914. Pretty brisk, isn't it? I'm just about a block off downtown. You can see um, they've got some homes over here. It looks like they're renovating. I'm wondering if the town is about to go through a growth spurt. Let's see another number I didn't give you yet. It's crime. Last year, 12 incidents per 1,000 people. That's about half the U.S. average of 23. Yeah, I'm by the railroads here. See all those engines? What do you want to bet? Those are all helper engines. Still pushing trains up towards Salt Lake City to this day. And there's downtown right there on the other side. Yeah, see all the tracks there? And it's right up in the double, that mountain pass there that it pushes them up. That's where I came from. Anyway, let's see. Check out a street or two, shall we? The median home value in this town is 154000 see a lot of smaller homes here but really good condition yeah it's a real pretty town isn't that pretty look at those flowers like they just grow up out of the sidewalk That is so nice. I think that house might might be empty. Yeah, and just everywhere you look. Wow. <laughs> well, they have a grocery store. Pick and rail market. Got a railroad theme to it, which makes sense. These kind of houses are common here. I grew up in a house that looks basically just like that one right there. Well, okay, uh, there is another town I want to show you out here. So, um,. How about if we head that way? What do you guys think? All right, everyone, I am in the town of Price. Look at that beautiful building. Now, Price, Utah. Another quaint, really pretty downtown. Price is just a few miles down the road from Helper. They're kind of like sister cities, even though Price is much bigger. There are about 8,200 people here. Peak population was in 1980, there were 9,100. So it's lost a little bit of population. But you see a lot of new construction in town. Uh, I noticed it driving through. 
Now the median age is 35. Uh, gender breakdown, 50-50. The town is 75% white, 20% Hispanic, 1% black, 1% Asian, 1% Native American, last 2% mixed. Median household incomes, 45400 a year. Or, uh, yeah, a year. So that's $873 a week. Uh, they have some pretty cool murals here. So I'll see if I can find them and show them to you. Silver dollar. Now this is a dive bar. <laughs> Love old theaters. And that awesome I, I would love to see it in new condition but there's something about it being old like this that's beautiful too isn't there uh, sadly it is not in operation well as I walk to this mural a couple more numbers overall poverty 17% Children 17 and under, 17%. Folks 65 and older, 14%. Uh, those numbers are pretty close to the U.S. average. Crime last year, 19 incidents per 1,000. U.S. average, 23. So, yeah, crime's a little lower than the U.S. This is quite a mi uh, mural, isn't it? This town's got a bit of an artsy vibe to it as well. Not as much as the other one, Helper. But they seem to clearly appreciate art in this town as well. Because, I mean, look at this. This is uh, quite an endeavor, if you think about it. It just goes on and on and on. I'm uh, one street off downtown. It's the main street on the other side of those buildings. Um, but anyway, look at this. It's quite impressive. What do you guys think the message is here? Industry? Energy creation, maybe? I'm not sure. Agriculture? All kinds of interesting stuff here. Uh, on this long wall. You almost uh, hate to see cars parked here. But anyway. Yeah. So it ends right there. That is something. Wow, look at that. Uh, Hellenic Orthodox Church Assumption. That is striking. I was wandering around some of the neighborhoods and just came across it. Well, here's a residential street. Not far from downtown. Looks very lived in, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, really interesting. Every kind of style there is here. Wow. These houses are really old. Well, I saw this as I was driving through. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that is... Wow, he's got another one there. It looks like an Indian. Yeah. 
All right, everyone, so that's the end of this video. Uh, I just always want to take a look at those two towns, so there it is. Anyway, we're going to take a quick break in Dallas, and then we are heading into the Deep South. So, be looking for those. We'll see you then.